Like, uh, I saw Jared was saying this one's sick, so yeah. let me try it. You put these all the way down, I assume? Yep. Yeah. Four inch move. You already know. Yeah. <laughs> I hate that they even have that setting. My shoulder. Like I said, he's about four weeks out. This is about the point in time for most people's preps that I am introducing for things that are lesser heavy compound exercises just to mitigate any risk of injury. So this variation replaced, I believe, Smith. This variation replaced the Smith incline, which isn't super injurious, but he was doing it for a couple of cycles back to back. That's about when you want to start to impart that novel stimulus, especially as you prep and get leaner. You can do higher rep ranges on these, um, lots of sets. Uh, the novel stimulus gives you a better pump usually. So we went ahead and replaced it with this machine. He got the pick, I kind of just said machine of choice, and he switched it to this, which is a really fucking good, good selection. So we're gonna go ahead, he's gonna warm up. We'll see you at the working sets. Go. Going down, down a little bit, so. Yeah? Yeah. You're taking creatine, right? Huh? Are you on creatine? Creatine would be a good this thing is. to implement right now. All right. Yeah, it'll help you get that extra rep or two. I got you. Exactly what it's designed for. Throw that in soon. Yeah. I really like this machine because it uh, converges. So you it don't just press so like this. Good. It comes in like dumbbells almost. It's one of my favorite things. Atlanta's fucking nails it every time. I know, they, they make the most perfect machine. Between this and having a torture in town. Best I still machines. haven't been there. Dude, you gotta go. You gotta go. Cause it's right. Yeah, <laughs> I was never a fan. Yeah. And then Mike had me do a huge cheat meal back in college. Uh, he wanted to see how much I could eat. So I got some Domino's. I was like, damn, why haven't I been eating this shit? This is so good. <laughs> I love Domino's. Yeah. They I'm gonna eat pizza, deals. I just go for Domino's. Domino's if anyone talks shit on Domino's, look at me, YouTube. You talk shit on Domino's, we're gonna fight. Oh, for I don't real. care who you are. I, I I'll love fly you out too. to Vegas just to fight you. <laughs> Domino's, I literally work at a pizza restaurant. I'd rather go to Domino's. Right, see? That's what I'm saying, man. Domino's is the shit. It's that sauce. I love that place. What do you get there? Uh, usually the chicken and pineapple or ham and pineapple. You can't complain with that. Yeah. People don't like pineapple on pizza. And for some reason, it's like a... I don't know. It's like Crocs and socks. They just go together, guys. Come on. <laughs> we made, yeah, right? We cool. made a pizza at my restaurant. It was mango, habanero, and shrimp. Oh, that sounds great. Holy so shit. So good. Just like a white pizza with like garlic, olive oil, mozzarella. <laughs> hey, first time we start discussing food on the channel is when I have my fucking client to pull this out on. <laughs> That's all I can talk about now. That's like literally all I talk about is food. I'm the opposite of that shit, man. Like I know people will like food porn and shit like that. Like middle yeah. of the night they're scrolling. I don't do that shit. That, yeah. I that's like, how you cause cravings, man. I honestly I'll watch somebody kill like hella food and it'll just have me disgusted. Eric the electric. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I watch dude. him all the time. To, I've watched him back when I prepped for the Arnold nineteen. Yeah. He's like it's just absurd and i'm like i don't even want to eat anymore Fuck. well you just ate like my whole life's worth of food in one sitting <laughs> tim k's like three weeks of your food <laughs> you know you, literally <laughs> and he's over here like twenty five thousand in one so sitting stupid. your favorite song john let's go <laughs> it's my hype up song beautiful big stretch nice pause Deep stretch, nice pause. There you go. Nice. So he's gonna show you, I, I put this on the channel before, but there's an app feature where we don't wanna look for 2.5s. He's just gonna put 205 on the same as last week. It bumped him up to 210. When he knocks it down to 205, you're gonna see that it changes the reps that he's gonna achieve. So we're gonna show you that now. Is your screen brightness up? We'll change it to watch the reps. So it went up to 12. So now instead of getting 11 on the first set, he's gonna get 12. Yep. Cool. There's a two. Nice. Couple reps right here. Potentiation set, and then he's gonna get into the working sets. Yep. So, nice and slow, nice I got down sets too. Yeah. Those are my favorite. I love me some down huge, sets. Huge pump. Yeah. <laughs> Especially when it's like this, and I only have like 175 or some shit yeah. on there, and I'm just like grinding. So here's some science for you guys. Uh, he's doing potentiation sets. Minnow Henselman actually just put out some stuff on his uh, Instagram. Go follow Minnow uh, if you don't already. I'm sure you do if you follow my channel. You're evidence-based people. 
but more evidence just to suggest that potentiation sets are really a viable training tool. Most of the participants in the study achieved on average one or two reps more than the group that didn't do the potentiation sets. So it's pretty cool. For the yeah. longest, uh, for the past year plus yeah. now. Beautiful, nice slow, slow eccentric. Let's get a nice little pause at the bottom too. There we go, beautiful, good. Crack. All right, I'm ready for those 12 reps now. Oh yeah. <laughs> You can pause for a bit. Good, let go. Yeah. Hell yeah, good. Good yeah. shit, man. <laughs> Told you to rush him down a little bit. Yeah. That one's not too bad, you got 11. Yeah. Oh my, Crazy. dude, I when we get to LVAC, I, I get on my car, they're like in my fucking car. They're like 20 of them just hit me in the face and shit. I'm like, dude, I'm glad I'm from the Midwest, that shit don't bother me, but like, if I was yeah. some chick, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> you see 9,000 grasshoppers. Dude, it was insane. Walking. Like especially at night, it's just filling up the entire light. There were like four or five got in my apartment last year. I'm like, where the fuck is that sound coming from? I'm gonna find them in random fucking places. Like, on my ceiling. Oh, it's, it's crazy. <laughs> oh my. Push, push. Control, control, control. Boss, I'm gonna help. You're good, you're good, you're good. Hell yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> it's nice being able to push myself yeah, like, man. with somebody here. Yeah. Luckily, I'm like, I can't wait for anybody to come turn with me. But like, <laughs> I need to get it done real quick. You know, 100%. Yeah, prep, I've done my last few preps by myself. Yeah. The main time I would like film, it was just like way better. Film with Nick or something like that. Like, yeah, dude, you got this, that extra little push. drive. Yeah. yeah. So, like, lately, I'm like, damn, I feel like I'm training like a bitch. <laughs> But I guess not. If my numbers are at least they're pretty I mean, you're, similar. Yeah, you're basically matching. So yeah. This is good. I feel solid. What are your downsets? 185? Um, it's 180, but I tell if it's 185 or 175. Either or. 175 is fine. Right. That's what you did last week? Uh, yeah. Yeah, keep the same weight as last week. Okay. Yeah, 175. So, uh, one more of this and then the two downsets. Perfect. When we integrate a coaching portal, this you can make for people. like. He's deep into prep. As his coach, I know that. As someone else's coach, you would know that. The app might suggest, okay, let's go up five pounds this week um, and let's add a set. You as the coach can also assess, the app's not always right. Um, I don't. So the app isn't always right. And you might notice that uh, deep into prep, you don't really want your clients to touch new loads or to go up a lot and wait on the bar. So you decide to knock the weight down a little bit and, or in, introduce an intensity technique for the exercise because you realize, well, they still need to train hard this week, but they might not get the same reps as last week because I made a diet adjustment. And you're gonna know all this information. The app doesn't know when you're cutting out carbs or increasing or whatever the hell you're doing with all that stuff, uh, introducing new drugs. So if creatine. you need to, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> creatine, putting creatine in for him next week. Um, so if you need to make those types of adjustments, it's super simple. You can remove sets, add sets, reduce the load, increase the load, as you saw. Um, and that just helps you coach somebody better because they can make their entire training block for you because most coaches now are gurus. They just do the farm, the steroids, and they do the diet. This is a natural guy, so I just do the diet and I do his training. But they can make their training block and then they can be like, man, training is kind of hard right now. You can go and look at it and make those modifications for them that the training app necessarily can't uh, intuitively make like you could. But trying to up me another set, I was like. Do you just remove sets? Yeah. Yeah, dude, totally fine. 100% fine. So one day it was like. You're intuitive enough about that shit too. Like you, yeah. you've been doing training this way for quite some time. Exactly. So I trust you to do that. Dude, you like know? one day it was like, all of a sudden it's like, yeah, I do six sets on lateral raises. I was like, last week I was doing three. Like, oh, shit. That's probably a fucking bug. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully you report it's like, that. I get in my pump wasn't that crazy, but like, I don't think I need work three more sets. Easy. Yeah. Pump non-existent. Yeah, right? Yeah. Didn't even do the working sets on uh Last one? Yeah, nine? last one. Did you say nine sets. on there? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, somewhere like that. Under, under 10. <laughs> What drink did you have? You think you said it in the... Uh, at least searching for tens isn't as bad as searching at dragons for one. Oh, dude, 100%. <laughs>
Dragons here running just 25s and 45s. Seriously. How was that last set good? That felt good. We're strong. So he just finished up his uh, top sets. He fell out of that 10 to 15 range on that last set. He did eight. So, and that happened over the course of each week. So now he's going to the down sets, 175, 10, 15% drop or so. And he will do, I think you're back up in that rep range. Yeah, his first set is going for 14. 14? Hell yeah. This should be good. What do you do for your intro? Gatorade. Gatorade. Honestly, Gatorade was made by sports scientists for the Florida Gators back in like the yeah. 80s or 70s. And it's no other supplement beats it. <laughs> Just that's like mama a, that's the key, I guess. <laughs> Kool Aid with extra water. sugar. He'd be, he'd be putting, uh, three three a, scoops of sugar in that yeah, bitch. It's a, it's a four to one <laughs> ratio of sugar. <laughs> Let's go. There you go. Great pause. Fuck yeah, Jacob. Two, two under. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, at least it was happening during my last week. So. Yeah, hundred um, percent. This is the overreaching week of the Mesa cycle. Last week makes sense. That there's some rep drop off. Not to mention he's obviously in prep. Um, again, as a coach, you're gonna know all these things. You can modify specific things. So he just did one down set with 175. I'm gonna actually take him down to 155. We're gonna make up some reps for it, and we're gonna do a little bit of a drop set at the end. So we're gonna go 155, then we're gonna take off everything, put the two tens back on, and do a little more. So this is an intensity technique you can put in at the end of a mess cycle, if you're deep in the prep and you wanna make up a little bit of volume, this is an absolutely fine way to do that. We can even program it into the app if we wanted to. Since it's the last week, we don't necessarily have to. Yeah.
You got a pump. A little bit. <sighs> the side chest. That's solid. The chest is getting crazy, man. <laughs> yeah. Feels good. I really thought I had a fucking small ass test, so my fucking stomach went away. Yeah. <laughs> I feel pretty good. Okay, dude. 17? <laughs> yeah, you have something like that. <laughs> yeah. It's up there. That gets you some brownie points, <laughs> yeah, you know. Right. All right, I feel I feel pretty good for how light I am. I left my phone over there. It's like, I don't even know how many reps I need to hit now. All right. Show us how it's done, technician. Come on, let's go. Get my, uh, what's that, cyborg technique? Cyborg, cyborg technique, my man. Yeah. Get it. Right those elbows in. Come on. Yep. Come on. Fight him in. You're good. I'm right here. Fight him in. In, 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 in. In, 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 in. <laughs> good stuff. Good shit, good shit. Still 18? <laughs> no. Similar to me and most people, he has two pushing sessions per week. The first one has a little bit more chest volume. Um, this one has, you know, obviously just enough with some triceps, lateral delts, biceps. Both days have lateral delts and biceps. Um, this is like this quote unquote lighter push session and his vertical emphasis session. So you notice I usually pair some kind of vertical pushing exercise that includes inclines with my horizontal triceps and then vice versa. So he's doing lying skulls, incline pressing. You guys feel free to set it up that way as well. Then you're hitting each side of the tricep because you still include triceps in the vertical pressing. Um, and same thing with the chest. This is still hitting some chest too because it's a JM press. Fight him in. Control. Fight him in. Fight him in. Good, right? Push ups. I'm gonna fuck you up there. <laughs> You close grip one? Good. Yeah, damn. Once, you, once you're gonna fail, go to the knee. Two. <laughs> knee. You ready? Yeah. Good. Yeah, damn. Take a big breath at the top. Good. Breathe, breathe, breathe. One or two more. Let's go. Press, come on! <laughs> oh my. It's always a push up. <laughs> Every time. Even when we have them program band, I'm like, oh my god, I can't do it. I'll just fall on my face. I'm just like, whatever. I'm not going back up. Yep. It's like hitting body weight squats after hitting the drop set on pendulum. <laughs> Finishing off the session with a lateral delt supersets. We're gonna do uh, lateral raises with upright rows. And then we'll be doing a curl exercise. I think three sets of each of those. Yeah. 
yeah three sets of each of those that'll be it so nice simple couple intensity techniques thrown in that weren't in there at the beginning of the message cycle just so we could push in a little more volume since he's overreaching he's going to deload next week uh after that we'll pose a little bit so oh yeah pretty big <laughs> Grass up. Right. That's why I prosper in shoulders. <laughs> you have a versus? I did. <laughs> I had to. Boy's tired. I honestly don't feel tired for once. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. After 700 grams of carbs, I feel good. We gave him some high days. Yeah. He's very appreciative of the high days. <laughs> I was like, hey, we're filming, so let's program some high days. I don't want you to look juicy as fuck. <laughs> it, was, it was strategic for his prep, it wasn't for the video. <laughs> it feels good now. Yeah, yeah, whenever you're back down, bro, you're gonna, you're yeah, gonna be I'm hungry. Like you're gonna be hungry. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna be mad. That's why I don't do like the high low shit. Yeah. It's like if you can just keep your carbs consistent and higher for the most part, it's just better. Because like, I was, I was honestly chilling for a while yeah. on those lower carbs. Yeah. It didn't start hitting me till like week four. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, my shit was just getting wrecked. <laughs> <laughs> I want all this fucking pizza. I'm around it all the time. Dude, right. I have to start calling out for shifts. And <laughs> no, I'm just I kidding. can't come in. Yeah. I can't come in today. I'm sorry, I'm like, are you hungry. sick? You're like, I can't be around yeah, the fucking pizza, Too hungry dude. today. <laughs> I'll ruin my prep. Yeah, right? <laughs> like, throw some lettuce in there for me. <laughs> All right. Got these lateral delts. Upright rows. Yeah, he looks great. You got big-ass lats. I think AJ's a week out. A week? You'll be alright. <laughs> Good stuff. Just gonna go right into it? Yep. Alright. So it's gonna go right from lateral raises into upright rows. Same with the dumbbells, same exact weight. Um, we do it this way because upright rows are a heavier exercise. You can usually go heavier on them. Once you have all the metabolites pushed into the tissue from the lateral raises, and once you go into the upright rows from there, it's a lot harder. So if you're gonna do some kind of superset like this, this is probably the best way to do it. Do the lesser compound variation first, and then the harder one. Just like with the lying skulls, superset to close grip pushups that he was talking about. We'll do the lying skulls first, your triceps are fried. Puts a lot of the tension on the triceps, so when you go into close grip, you're gonna you're gonna basically poop out really really soon. Push even more metabolites into that tissue. Good. Up arrow. Yep. Hit it. Good stuff. Two. Three. Four. Come on now. High elbows. Beautiful. Great control in the eccentric. Good stuff. Come on. Yep. Good. Good stuff, man. Keep it up. Good. Good shit. Yeah. You too. Um. So he got, how many was it on upper rows? 15. 15, with 25. Normally he'd probably get like 30, 40. Doing those lateral raises first, got a good pump, went right into the upright rows. If you're gonna do something like this, you can. If the exercises are completely different, like you're doing like a fucking rear delt fly and then an upright row, you can probably go heavier on the upright row. The rear delt fly is not gonna tax you as much. Um, but the closer they are to being heavy compound, same weight's probably just fine. 
Uh, if you realize you are actually way fucking stronger on upright rows, well, I'd say first assess your technique a little bit, but <laughs> second, if you want to use different weights, you, you definitely can. I think mean, peak mass, I was in like 95 on easy bar, upright rows for like 15. Goddamn. What are they at now? Let's see what you're doing. I still feel like I could probably do like 80 at least. Yeah. Not for that, like 15, maybe like 10, but yeah. 60s for 15. <laughs> what he does bro <laughs> it's just like dickhead yeah, I, I he's he's nine, nine years he's nine years older than no i know he's nine years older than me yeah. so i'm like all right you guys fuck my mom. He's, he's in detroit yeah well, he was oh, here he's, a couple months ago yeah but he's no longer a dragon no um oh, so yeah. they moved to detroit oh, so let, let me with a picture yeah let me do it let me get you guys yeah but yeah they moved out there but he comes out here they're, they snowbird out here yeah so they're gonna be here january february Videographer will be out here, but they'll be here January, February, and I believe most of March. I don't. We don't mind at all. He probably will be too. <laughs> Training sessions or just coaching? Um. <laughs> honestly, man, if it's, like if it's like, Jared, I want you like, like, just hop in. I don't get. <laughs> we should. Hey, we should do it when Mike comes out. Do all four of us. Yeah, hundred percent. Hundred percent. Yeah. Pick something. Yeah, I'm down. I just want to pick your brain while we're. Yeah, absolutely, dude. Abs I absolutely. I think. Thank you, man. I'll see you. Yeah, let's get it. Uh, shoot me. Shoot, tag me in that shit so I can follow you back and stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah, man. Good chat with you. Nice output. Yeah. Is the best thing you can do for a prep. Like you said, you, you did what, three sessions, 30 minutes or some shit? Yeah. We haven't increased that. We don't need to. Exactly. Your steps are fucking 18 to 20K <laughs> at work. Why the fuck would we? Marvin? Right. You've seen Marvin? Yeah. Leanest man of all time. Zero cardio. It was all steps. Because he walks to work. He's a personal trainer. Yeah. He walks from his apartment like two or three times a day because he'll go back home for lunch and go back. Yeah. Literally, he just had like 18 to 25K steps per day. That was it. That's it. Then do any fucking added cardio. Of uh, the superset, then we go do some curls. Yep. Um, What's the rep drop off for you? Is it on this? On this? A little more? A little bit. Yeah. My 13 was my last set. Did 15 the first one on both. If you need a little more rest, uh, we could just show them how you track the superset. Because yeah. pe people do it differently. I do it probably a little different than oh, you, you do. do it. Maybe. You put both exercises in? I do too. Yeah. And then you just put what yep. you got on the first and second. Yep, but do you make time. a note that says superset with. You want to put that? You want to show them? Yeah, just so that way they can see what it looks like? This would be good for you all because if you're using the app or you plan on using the app, there are a few ways you can do the intensity techniques. We're eventually going to have it to where you can just program intensity techniques. But for now, this is how you can do it. So he has both exercises programmed in, and he has a note. Yeah, even like I use, I do lateral raises on two days. So on like Wednesday, that's one of my pull sessions. I have another note in there, but with Wednesday. For my reps, right? yeah. yeah. And then I got super set with upper row Saturday, and then. So he's just putting exactly the reps that he gets raise. on the. Laterals and then exactly the reps he's getting on the upright rows and then the note says superset. So very simple yep. I know that probably seems intuitive to you all but a lot of people ask us questions like that all the time So there you go. I had to look up a video on it. Oh, yeah, because <laughs> I was curious. Yeah, I didn't really know Because like when I track it in the Excel sheet It just be like the parentheses. Yeah, I just yeah. put it right next to each other. Yeah I was like, What's the closest to that? Beautiful. Yep. Push. Let's go. No momentum. No momentum. Just stealth. There you go. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Right. You're a week out? <laughs> yeah. Looking nuts. We have a, my client, Kevin, he's from New York. He's a, has a really good business out there for personal training and uh, online coaching. <laughs> so we're doing the little filming and then I have the live stream pulled up on my phone. The intermission right now, but he's uh, basically trying to go pro and two different federations right now. So we turned him pro already, and now he's coming out 
I think he has about an hour. So try not to miss anything. Train him. Watch the we'll watch the live stream between. <laughs> oh yeah. Big ass arm. <laughs> All arms over here. Look at these fucking curls. You can tell. You can tell I've been training you for a while. <laughs> these are fucking crisp. Really force those elbows in on the way up. Towards each other. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Makes you want to stop my mask right now. Makes me want some mask. Good shit, good shit, good shit. Like a two or three year off season. Yeah. Try and put on a bunch of size Smart. again. That's exactly what I'm doing. Yeah. Cause I I could it's like you moving to open is like the equivalent of me filling out my weight cap. Yeah. Like, at least getting to closer. Be real. Yeah. If uh, I could hop but on we could put we could put on like 15, 20 yeah. pounds. If I could hop on closer to like one seventy. Yeah. Right, that's yeah. a substantial difference. 100%. Take your time with the natural shit. Like, get to the point where you're gaining two, three pounds of muscle yeah. per year. Exactly. And then at that point, make that decision. You know what I mean? Right. Like, I'll try to talk you out of it, of course, because yeah. Yeah. I don't think people need to do it. Uh, um, obviously, it's not like a hypocritical thing. It's just like a, do you want to make an actual fucking career out of this? Yeah, exactly. Or like, or how meaningful of a attribute for you is that like i right. want this in my like i want to be a fucking IP pro right like i totally get it i made that decision myself exactly. at 10 years of natural training that was my decision I, it's been maybe five yeah since i started in like my right. first my first year i only worked out for six months and i got hurt yeah so it's been four real years yeah. and i'm only 22 like exactly that. yeah i didn't hop on until fucking 25 26 yeah so I got plenty of growth yeah like especially like in a mass, I can get damn near 200 pounds. Like exactly. I, if I could push over. Yeah, I think for your fine. frame, man, you could easily get to a lean, lean 170, 175 yeah. with 10 years of natural training. And I have no problem yeah. waiting that 10 years, especially training like this all the time and 100%. eating properly now. I feel like I already skyrocketed in one year 100%. compared to. My I was in. I was in. I was in. Out in front. 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 There it is. Come on. Go around front. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Elbows. 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 In. 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 Good. Hell yeah. These are straight sets or you got a my rep? sets. Okay. clients on the on the videos it's like all right good set <laughs> sorry i didn't coach you too much <laughs> no, uh, you're coaching me through the zoom so <laughs> yeah let's go <laughs> so he was actually just making some cool points um Jacob did the RP diet cert. He I subscribed to the RP subscription based YouTube. So we have, obviously I have this channel. Mike has his uh, progress channel, which is super cool. It's a bunch of philosophical yeah, cool. talks. And then we have the RP channel, which has 800,000 subs. So if you guys are really, if you really like this stuff and you're just kind of like scrolling through YouTube and you happenstance found my shit, go follow all that stuff. He's also part of the subscription based service there where we have long form lectures, 45 minutes to an hour of what progressive overload is, what nutrient timing is, what uh, random random bullshit, honestly. Like, like what, random exercises that yeah. stimulate shit the best. Yeah, like. so 
there head over there subscribe to all that stuff and uh so do the subscription for like a month or two see if you like it if you don't if you're like ah, this is stupid whatever you know yeah inside see your guys' training stick, too yeah stick to the free shit if you like the free shit uh Damn, totally fine right? um, it's only ten dollars yeah but um we're gonna do some posing now you get to see Jacob naked if you are not into that. You know, you can log off at this point. And... In my subscription, that are like trying oh, to yeah. fuck. I'm like, all right, you need to calm down. It's a little excessive now. Calm down. Go grab my dick. <laughs> well, you grab it sick. <laughs> oh, solid. A little higher elbow. A little bit more bent. More bent? Almost. Just a little bit, yeah. More yeah, bent? There you go. It pops your rear delt out better. A little more. And then push your elbow this way. Yeah. Forward turn. Same thing. Wrist in. in. Wrist in and this out a little bit. So you want your pinky towards your glute. Pinky towards yeah, my yeah, glute? Yeah, there you go. Yep. Back of the bicep. Yeah, there you go. Go relax. Face the front. Ab and thigh. Pick up. Huh. You're the man. I'm glad you got to come in and do this. <laughs> we'll probably get another one uh, with him closer to the show as well. So maybe like a week out or some shit when you're really feeling it. Uh, yeah. And you need a little push. Uh, maybe we'll do some peak week stuff with him too. I like it when my clients are in Vegas because we can just like get them on the videos, film some shit. They're always yep. all about it. Yep. Um, Jacob, my man, thank you. Uh, appreciate you. Follow this guy on social media and shit. <laughs> He's a cool dude. He's thank a good you. dude. Anything you want to say? No, I'm just ready to get this show in, to be yeah, honest. I feel you. I feel you. To this be safe. You're in, you're in the last parts where it gets really yeah. fucking hard and you're just like, man, let's, I'm ready to mass. Like you just said, you're like, I'm ready to just put on some more muscle. <laughs> right? I get it, man. We get there, then we get fat, and we're like, fuck, man, I need to cut. Yeah, let me get but, shredded uh, again. No, man, I'm excited to see how fucking Lee we can get you. It's going to be right. sweet. Yeah. Can't wait. All right, guys. All right. Thanks for watching. Thank you. See ya.